makes you lazy and complacent, boring and alone, been there, done that, I don't like it, makes you dumber every day. What? Do these statements or rather opinions ring a bell? Video content has recently gone viral and received flack mostly from the work from home online community due to this company's strong views about working from home. And while that video and the ones involved already received backlash, I myself as a work from home employee for almost seven years now would admit that working remotely is not all bliss and butterflies. Yes, being a Filipino freelancer is both an empowering and challenging experience. On one hand, the rise of remote work and the gig economy has opened up a world of opportunities for Filipinos to leverage their skills and talents on a global stage. With proficiency in English, adaptability, and a strong work ethic, Filipino freelancers have become highly sought after by clients and companies from around the world. However, the journey of a Filipino freelancer is fraught with challenges that go beyond simply finding work. Instability and unpredictability of income. One of the primary hurdles is the instability and unpredictability of income. Unlike traditional employment where a regular paycheck can be expected, freelancing often involves fluctuating workloads and payments. This financial uncertainty can make it difficult for freelancers to plan for the future, manage expenses, or support their families. Competition. Another significant challenge is the competition within the global marketplace. With freelancing platforms becoming increasingly saturated, Filipino freelancers must continuously upskill and differentiate themselves to stand out. This pressure to stay competitive can lead to stress and burnout, especially when combined with the long hours often required to meet deadlines and exceed client expectations. Time zone differences. Filipino freelancers face the challenge of navigating time zone differences, often working late nights or early mornings to align with clients based in different parts of the world. This can disrupt work-life balance and contribute to feelings of isolation as the unconventional working hours can limit social interactions and personal time. Access to reliable internet and technology. Access to reliable internet and technology is another concern. While the Philippines has made strides in improving its digital infrastructure, there are still areas where connectivity is unstable or slow. For a freelancer whose livelihood depends on being online, these technical issues can be a major setback, leading to missed opportunities and frustrated clients. Cultural and psychological hurdles. The traditional Filipino values of hiya and utang maloob can sometimes make it difficult for freelancers to assert themselves negotiate fair rates, or set boundaries with clients, which can create a sense of insecurity or doubt about the sustainability of freelancing as a long-term career. Despite these challenges, Filipino virtual assistants continue to thrive, driven by resilience, resourcefulness, and a strong sense of community. Many have found success by building networks, participating in online communities, and continuously learning. The ability to work remotely has also allowed them to stay close to their families while contributing to the global economy, making freelancing a fulfilling option for those who embrace its challenges and rewards. As the freelancing industry evolves, so too will the strategies and support systems that Filipino freelancers develop to navigate these challenges. With the right mindset, resources, and opportunities, the future for Filipino freelancers looks promising even in the face of adversity. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We're always looking for new topics to tackle and your questions might just inspire the next video in this series. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!